All right, people, welcome back. More D and Duel commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. Welcome back. More D and Duel commentary. I know you're not playing Gem Knights. So you just happen to draw that one Garnet. Maybe you're. Yeah. I think you should probably run two. Two Garnet. Yeah, at least. Yeah, like if you draw that one, then the brilliant fusions are completely dead, yeah. and that's definitely not good. So we have Edo zero zero one here at twelve o two. And Gonzalez 04 at 1383. So I I I can't say a good contest. This is Gem Knights. This has to be something with the uh, with the perform ages. <laughs> yep, uh, most likely. Uh, like the pure Gem Knight deck is not good at all anymore. Yeah, your rating is way too high for you to be playing pure Gem Knight. And Gonzalez, I don't know. You kind of took it slow. I don't know what deck you're playing, but hopefully you get into it. Don't you see it? Pope 19. Oh, it's actually heroes. But heroes with... playing gem knights with heroes. But... Yeah, like what, what do you send? Like I don't understand. There's, there's no dark gem knight. I wish there was a dark gem knight fusion, but there isn't. So I don't yeah, know. I guess I guess I... play his performances with uh, heroes. Okay, four eight heroes, sure. <laughs> and XE and two, I have no idea. Care Gorgon, all right. He's gonna start slapping, targeting things around. So what you got, Gonzalez? So I believe on here that uh, uh, break, Breaker of uh, Meta isn't out on DN yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Um, I mean, there's the Fiendish Chain. It's not like you can slap it to anybody else. So you get chained up. Oh no, here's the MST. <laughs> Like I said, he wants to protect it. Wow. And it's okay. volcanic. Interesting. I haven't seen them in a cool minute. Like, yeah, very long time. Yeah, they were like hyped for like a week. <laughs> like, oh shit, volcanic's good. They won, they topped one tournament. Alright, never mind. <laughs> uh, I still don't think that they're good right now. I mean, yeah, they are really too slow, and Skytoshot is not really that great right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't know where you're going with that. Just gonna attack over him. I mean, he's pretty good against this Carrot Gorgon, I can tell you that. You can go ahead and pull up that scatter shot and destroy him. Is that what you're gonna do? That's a really odd duel. No, oh, alright. I ain't dead. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Let's see if you can get the resources shell. Okay, 100. I, said, I, I thought these high rated duels, I thought we were just going to be seeing some meta stuff, only the meta, but no. They're going to come at you with that, uh, what would you call this? Tier 2? Yeah, kind of. I can't even say with a straight face that Volcanics are even Tier 2 anymore, just because they're absolutely I think they not are. Gay. I think they are at least Tier 2. Yeah, yeah, you can actually, see, them you can actually see them top, even in today's meta. To at least want them being Tier 2 in comparison to, like, all them other tier two decks. Like, I just can't see volcanics even topping this format. Like not even, not even a little bit. Get out of that deck. He's got more break this skill. <laughs> that break was kind of pointless because it has to reload anyway. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just attack over him. Like oh, this duel. Like he, you're just—he hasn't even dropped the Denklaw on you yet, man. Like Gonzalez, you need to get in here. Where is yeah, have some resources, but can't really do much with them. Mm-hmm. You got all them cards in your hand. You can't... Scatter shot? There it is. There it is. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know the routine. And he's going to go ahead and get his Shadow Mist effect. God, so... Can you get into this duel against that Like, look at all them cards. <laughs> I know you yeah, have a. Uh, uh, card advantage. I know you have uh what's his name in your hand? Oh my god, I forgot his name. Uh, seventeen hundred guy. There he is. Thank you. Or yeah, Firestone guards. I was like, what is his name? Like, I, I I can say his stats and everything, but I can't say his name. <laughs> wow. I bet you would have wished he saved that birthday skill. <laughs> Like, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I don't even bother freaking uh, hitting the rocket. Like, they're going to get it whether I like it or not. Like, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about that guard. 
Stop that guard, and you don't even have to worry about that multiple scatter shot. You just go ahead and put it back. Like, no, don't put it back. Look at that. Look at that. Why did reload was destroyed? Yeah, what happened to it? I'm yeah. gonna reload. <laughs> no, no, everybody's confused. And I was like, wait, why is reload really gone? <laughs> He's like, please don't let it be gone, because that's even worse for him. Now, if you want to go ahead and activate that, uh, uh, magical, magic mag planter, yeah. yeah, magic planter, more power to you. I forgot to do something, yeah, yeah, magic planter, <laughs> just gonna skip a step, huh? Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. magic planter is uh, so broken in volcanics. Uh... Mm -hmm. So good, just get that reload in there just to fuck you up during... <laughs> You're doing like, hey, hey, I'm gonna regeki you during your turn. How's that sound? Yeah, it's a uh, real effect of real art is completely insane. Ooh. So you don't even want time as that. Alright, well, that's obvious what you're getting. Go ahead and grab it. Fuck life points. Fuck life points. There you go. <laughs> Fuck life points. <laughs> I'll pay all of heaven in volcanics. Yeah, I was just saying, do you, you're a little bit too slow to be tributing off monsters like that. This is my yeah, opinion. Uh, like, you're not you're not a pendulum-based deck. Like, that's something that I would see in, like, maybe, like, Kleez or something. Like, you're a little bit too slow for that. And Burning Abyss. Oh, yeah, and Burning Abyss. I kind of forgot about that deck. It didn't do so bad. It, at least it wasn't absolutely just gone out of existence like Necros and Shadals. Like, they didn't even top yep. once. I saw like one Klee top, a couple Burning Abyss tops, but a couple Teller Knight tops, but nothing from Necros or uh, Shadals. I mean, a couple of Necro players I see like dueling on like Depro and DN, but you know they try to trish you and they don't get it off and they just quit. You know they gotta go really in, especially with no Shriet. Like without Shriet, you gotta go really in. You gotta like banish that uh that one Brio and banish a Colossalis, and then you get Solemn noticed when you activate your effect, and it's just this is all bad. <laughs> Solemn Strike. Isn't it like 80 bucks right now? Yeah, something like that. It's very yeah. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, I'm definitely not going to get it, for sure. <laughs> $240 a playset? You could probably get it for like a playset for like 200 if someone's going to give you like a deal. <laughs> yeah, still way too much for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's too much. <laughs> Uh, every time I think, like, you know what, I could probably, you know, make some kind of deck. I could, I could probably make, like, Magic Spectres or something, and just, and I just think, like, you know what, I gotta get them notices, I don't wanna do it. Like, that's, like, literally the only thing that's keeping me from really, uh, getting too into, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> is that I ha- is that you have to have a play hit. Like, like, if Notice was not a card, like, if Strike was- oh, and- oh my god. Renny's about to give me a nickel. Renny's about to give me a nickel. <laughs> huh? Yes. <laughs> Randy was playing the duel, and I was, I was like, I was like, give me a nickel for every single time Vanity has either won me a game or lost me a game. <laughs> Just won someone a game or lost someone a game. Give, give me a nickel. I, I'd be a very wealthy man. I'd be, I say, I'd be able to get a play set of some strikes. <laughs> Close. <laughs> like I was like, I was like, look, no, some strike is great, no. But it's still not the most powerful trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh. That is the most powerful trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Wow, and he actually gets... Yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't see that often. You really don't. He actually planted the vanities. Wow. Wow. Oh, Star Series. Star Series 2? Oh my god, yeah, wow. I've seen this man is going to... in what kind of before. I, I, didn't they do it like once? Like... This engine definitely still fell by the wayside. It's it's one of those engines. It's just one of those things where it just like it was broken and then it just kind of fell off. <laughs> like, is it broken? Yeah, still, but it just doesn't do the plays it used to do. Or I guess no one wants to really play it. It's just inconsistent. Yeah, it's inconsistent. That's the problem. You got to play a little bit more than that, and uh, if you just want to play more rank fours, you might as well go with perform ages. Oh, maybe perform ages get hit. Maybe you they'll go back to it. I don't know. You have to really like to add Scepter. What are you gonna play? Sec fail or something? Okay. I mean, yeah. Doesn't really matter much if you no. don't have anything in response. 
Not really. It's just a rule tracking at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, and there's no going back. It's not like it's in a log or anything that he revealed it, so. I mean, do you have a response or something? Because if, you, if, you, if you're just being anal, just to be anal, then hurry this shit up. Do you have a response? Then, then call an admin for that. I say, yeah, then call an admin. Are there any admins even on right now? Not sure. There's like two. Oh, yeah. what, are the, what are the gray names? Uh -huh. Like blue are my friends, green are the admins, black is everybody else, but what are the gray names? No idea. I don't know either. So there's like two admins. Dude, come on! Holy shit! <laughs> Like what do you what do you want from him? What what do you want from Mr. Gonzalez here? <laughs> like do you want him to take it back and then reveal it? Like uh, uh, don't ask me. I think me. Uh, he just tries to rule shark for the win really at this point. Okay, so he is. And she could just go back then if you just wanted to do that. Senpai, where the fuck is S H V I? Is that Shining Victory? That's a set. S H V I. Yes. I don't. What? Hello? <laughs> what kind of question is that? What, what, what kind of question is that to ask me? <laughs> no, I said, don't message me. Like, does it matter? Like, I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, like, what is the problem? Do you have a response? Like,. I, I, I don't understand the argument. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, are you just trying to real shock him calling admin? No, oh, he didn't reveal the song. He just summoned it. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, if you, ha if you have a response, then go ahead and respond. He's going to go ahead and summon scepters, activate scepters, effect, chain sovereignty. Like, response? <laughs> Did he reveal the star Seraph chair? Does it really matter? Yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah, let's say, does it really matter? The end result is still the same. Unless you have a response. People on DN shortcut all the time. He's trying to get that easy shortcut win, and and, and I swear to God, if you freaking call an admin over this, I oh my God, like just play the fucking duel. Let him. Uh, do you have a response? Like that's the only question that's coming up here. Did, did he reveal? Sort of. I mean, he summoned it to the field. That's semi result of revealing. Yep. No, he 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 revealed a chair. Yeah, he had the chair. Chair and search another chair. I saw that. I, I, I can confirm that. He had the chair and he searched another chair and summoned additional chair. He did not summon the same chair that he searched. Okay, I, if that's what the confusion was? Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. He, he did it correctly. He did the play correctly. I don't know. He's not cheating. He had the chair. He, he went and summoned, did the chair, drew the card... Search the chair, summon the chair, draw the card, like... Well, definitely should have drawn before someone the second one. Yeah. But... <laughs> what, now you're gonna try to roll shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now go ahead, go into your delta rail, pop that back rail, draw another card. Unless you want to go into Ouroboros. Delta rail, nope, delta rail. Alright. So, well, unless that's a, a solemn warning. Except you're going to pop that and you can't even really do anything. Oh, it's just smash change. What are you going to smash change Blaze Man and Del... Who is the fire one? I a Koka, it's really bad. Oh, 20, okay. <laughs> 200 attack. It does pretty much nothing, almost. Close, but no game. And Gonzalez has just shown his entire duel that just hands in the car. <laughs> That's all of them. All of them. Wait. Yeah, it's game over. But you can do that even though they don't have monsters on the field? I'm not sure. Let's see. 
No, I don't think you can. I'm not sure if you can. This card is sent to be added by the card without a blaze accelerator. You can send two bonus and destroy all monsters your opponent controls. But if your opponent doesn't control any monsters, can you use that effect? Um, when you don't know what the result effect, you have to actually destroy something. That's what I thought. I thought you had to, <laughs> thought you had to actually destroy something too. Yeah, I don't think you can activate that effect if your opponent doesn't have any monsters. Oh, that's why I have my phone in my hand. Like, can you activate Raikiki if your opponent doesn't have monsters? Yeah, like you can activate your Deki <laughs> if your opponent doesn't have any monsters on the field. So. Oh wow! I touched in volcanic shot, <laughs> uh, volcanic scatter shot, and it's like, did you mean volcanic <laughs> scatter shot versus no monsters? Oh. I guess I would just go to rulings. Uh, blah blah blah. So called hundreds into the graveyard. Blah blah. blah. Where is the ruling? I'm like Google searching this. This one is going off like crazy. Can I use volcanics? Alright, can I use volcanic scatter shots for Geki effect on my opponent if my current current monster? My friend said you can't. Alright. <laughs> Why would you be able to? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so I guess no. Yeah, they control no monster, and how would you do it? Like they said, just like you said, how would you activate Regeki if your opponent doesn't control any monsters? Yep. So I guess he could send one, and then that one wouldn't flip five hundred, but that's it. So that wasn't game. <laughs> but whatever. It's mostly it those cheating, but the ones. Yep, but I. That's not my problem. Yeah, except at game state at this point. <laughs> yep, yeah, not too late now. <laughs> These people have high ratings, they should know how to play their decks. And I mean, unless that guy doesn't come, come down and, on me again and dislike my video for resolutions not resolved, as if I'm a judge and it's my and it's my <laughs> job to. <laughs> that's not, that's not, do I look like a judge? Like, not even a little bit. I don't even want to try to do the judge testing. Like, yeah, well, that sounds like a great job. Being the judge this time in, in Konami's fair fight is outdated as well currently, I think. <laughs> At least last time I took it. And failed. <laughs> and failed, damn! How'd because you fail? The, Was it that difficult? Because the rulings were outdated on the test. Mm. Oh, well, goes in first turn. Goes in first turn. Definitely an unusual variant of heroes. It seems like more like Clone Blade or something. Seriously, like, well, why are you going so in? You're playing heroes. Just summon your Denclaw and sit there. Like, nah, nah. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how dumb freaking uh, this uh, perform perform mage engine is. <laughs> Like, alright, I guess. <laughs> I and mean, you ain't gonna regek me. Has he used has he used both normal summons? I don't know, I I think so. I wasn't keeping track, so tell me. You you you're supposed to be watching. <laughs> uh -oh. Alright. Dweller, sure. I guess you're really afraid of getting <laughs> scatter shouted already. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, that definitely works. And has 2200 attack on Abyss Dweller as well, so can't run nowhere with anything. Yeah, yeah, and getting that extra 500 that you don't see that often. Hmm. So, you're just gonna go ahead and throw the Regeki at him already? <laughs> that brilliant fusion engine's really expensive. Yep, for some reason. That's what they're playing, isn't it? It's not even going to be played in that pepper deck anymore. There you go. After Big Drop Shadow. Ah, I called it. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so. Trick Clown Effect, Shadow Mist Effect. 
Yep. Yeah, just threw that Agaki at him. Like, hello, did you forget? This is uh, number generator territory. Oh, he's going to get that bow, he's going to try to acid him already? Uh-oh. I'll say, do you already got it? Okay. I'll say, do you got it already? <laughs> sure. Just attack over the clown and kill it. And then he'll go act go ahead and activate Instafusion and reset the clown because Norden is dumb. <laughs> yep. Of course. God, this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just... Just so crazy. <laughs> Swear. Yeah, it's way too fast. Way too fast. <laughs> like Gonzalez over here is trying to play volcanics. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> you're too slow. <laughs> like you were him, and he still has just as many cards <laughs> as he did before. <laughs> like this scene, main deck Regeki, like. Do, do, does anybody even really still play Regeki? Like with Pendulum uh, Magicians and Magic Spectres and Cosmos and PP? Yeah, like, probably not. I point? don't even have any room for Regeki in most of my decks anymore. I also think that uh, people playing that uh, that Daughter Dragon, that's cute. That's cute. Lols. <laughs> I remember that was used in Disaster Dragon back then. <laughs> It's cute, just summon it on when they search them uh them notices. Just do your plays, like I guess. Like doesn't Denko Seca do the job better though? Yeah, it definitely does better yeah. than Torture Dragon. Yeah, like just play Denko Seca and if you can't afford Denko Secas then why are you playing Yu Gi Oh? You should be have you should have access to every single card with all your infinite amount of money. I guess because Torture Dragon can't be warned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess. But that's what it's really. <laughs> yeah, that's one out of 40, so. <laughs> but still, she, she locks on every trap, and you know, you'd feel like a real idiot if you summon and he gets bottom list. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that's it, and it's not like they can't completely avoid that. Like, it's not like they're not going to play Rafisha. So they're going to fuck you up either way. <laughs> Did you see a uh, Mega Capitals G video talking about uh, Exiton? Yeah, I saw that. Uh... It's too late now. <laughs> I did. Like they're gonna I personally don't really care. I miss him. I do. I really do. <laughs> I guess it helps to come back, but mostly nah, it's uh, mostly if you have to exit on it's game over already if you're in such a bad position. They're not gonna bring him back. They're just gonna just keep him there forever. Yeah. Which effect are you using? <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, Exiton was one of the cards that started the whole rank four craziness. Yeah, now we got Infinity and Rafisha just locking you down. If they don't even run backward, they'll just rely on your monsters to make unbreakable fields and then occasionally get the notice. Is it true that uh Aradne you don't have to pitch with uh with Ultimate Providence? Is that true? No, I think you have to. That's what I'm thinking, because so. I think it says that you don't have to discard for cost, right? And I don't think that's a cost. Because it, it does it just wouldn't make any sense. Like how do you know how does how does Ultimate Providence know what card it's negating if you don't discard? Yeah, I think it's a part of the effect. Yeah. You have to discard a very specific card, and yeah, then yeah. you get the effect depending on that uh, discarded card. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. There's that Denklaw. I'm waiting for you. Where are you? Where are you? you didn't show up. All last duel. Like, where were you? <laughs> like, what? Did you forget that it was dark? <laughs> He's like, oh, wait. <laughs> Well, Dark Claw. I don't like Dark Claw. I, I still get sick to my stomach whenever I see his ugly face. Yeah, sometimes so it's pretty annoying. Ugly. <gasps> Ooh, oh, last eat it. it. Wow, the card still looks expensive. Yeah, for some reason, it's not even that good, in my opinion. It's only good against extra deck monsters. Mm -hmm. The Rippling Mirror Force is so much better. It's not out yet, though. Yeah, well, yeah, it comes out uh, in five months, though. 
Oh, that comes out. That that's that's the best. Damn, <laughs> he's gonna reveal it, put it there. Like he's gonna make sure that this shit doesn't happen again. <sighs> it's all these engines. It's like it's like I got my core. Like my core is Dark Lord I Die. My core is volcanics, and then you just got these splashable engines. Like I'm gonna run Star Wars. I'm gonna run before me. It's like okay, do your thing, girl. <laughs> you still have to throw first with the first sword, and you can't just throw two in the same at the same time. Seriously, you're doing that wrong. So when it is chaining to draw first, then you search with uh, uh, scepter. Yep. You got two cowboys. No balls. You don't got two cowboys. No balls. Oh, you yeah, can't even do that. Yeah, but even the one like. I say you can't I even haven't do seen that. Any, anyone even play one. Most doesn't like... sovereignty have to be used for three or more exit materials? Yeah. Yeah. So you can't that do that as well. So, are you going to just exceed those three, pop the brilliant fusion, because why not, and draw a card? Because that's totally what you need to do, is draw more cards. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> like, I, we haven't seen a single volcanic this entire duel. Oh, that card, I oh, guess. Okay, I guess. I guess maybe Pleiades? I mean, if it is not legal yet. Yeah. If they play this, it's only format. Yeah. Nah, I think I think if this, if this had an infinity, they would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, Especially the hero guy. Wow, we're actually gonna do that during the end phase. Uh, too much I play this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more materials on that, please. You're gonna do it as soon as possible. You, you're just gonna do it now. Just screw it. Let's just go, please. Okay. Please, right? Most likely. There you go. Right. So as soon as he summons that shadow, he doesn't and then... play anything else. Yep. So go summon shadow miss and then try to target with that match change. You just like, nah, go back to hand miss. <laughs> just play these. The play disruptor. Disrupting your play since two thousand and twelve. On fairness, when play these came out. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Actually, no, it was 2013. I could have saw it came out the Just... year before Dragon Rulers. No, it was. I think just before Dragon Rulers. Yeah, because Evil Swarm came in the same set. Yeah, and Evil Swarm were also 2013. And Edo's yes. just scoops. Scoops, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that was too screwed. Wow. I, I didn't see any hatred, though. There, I didn't see any siding. <laughs> I said, Gonzalez, like, where, where happened to all your volcanics? You're like, nah, I don't need to play them. <laughs> well, there you go. Just some resources, people. Resources. That's that's the moral of the story in this. <laughs> you got all them draws, so everybody says, oh, yeah, go ahead and bring uh, the Pot of Greed back. It's fair. Everybody gets Pot of Greed. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, of course not. It's a free plus one just because you get it. Like, this game is too luck-based for that, you <laughs> know? Even, even, like literally, it would have to be like everybody starts off with it in their hand, and then of course you got to consider that not every every deck draws equally. It's just it's just too luck based, you know. If we're gonna do that, we might as well just ha go back to everybody uh, starts with six cards. It's just like nah, nah. This game's too luck based. This is this is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's a card game. So yeah, let me go ahead and call it. So uh, you didn't see any meta. No 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 top tier decks, but it was still an interesting duel nonetheless. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join as always. And I will be back Thursday with another uh, DMDO commentary. All right, people. Thanks for watching.